get a chai tea latte from Starbucks, you don't think about any of that, right? We want our spices and our, you know, tea and, and the authenticity around everything we do to like start a conversation. Yeah, to, to get you to think about those things. So the next time you think about going to India, you do it in a responsible way. What's up, everybody? It's Ani. And I'm Ian. I'm the older brother. And we are the founders of Coca the Chai Co. Located at 199 East 3rd Street in the East Village. For us, I think we realized that the story of chai in America was being told by people not from a South Asian background. And that's bothersome for a lot of reasons. So for us, reclaiming that story, reclaiming that narrative, and doing it the right way from a product standpoint and making it as authentic as possible um, is something that's really important to us. So this is our distillation of all those things. Chai, this chai that we serve is basically an homage to roadside street tea that is found in India. So chai basically means tea, but in the context of, uh, if you say, let's go get chai on the street, it's usually a concoction of milk, tea, and spices all brewed together. One of my favorite products on the menu is actually the Kesar Chai, which uh, you can get at Sharma Tea in Kolkata. And you know, it's a very kind of uh, theatrical production because Kesar Saffron is, is expensive and kind of rare. And so, you know, a guy calls a guy, and another guy calls another guy, and the guy brings the saffron out and then puts it on your tea and then walks away. And it's kind of this very indulgent, kind of decadent thing. So we wanted to kind of create that similar experience here as well. One of my favorite items is the masala limka, which is this really interesting concoction of the limka soda that we grew up with, with spices and a little bit of lime juice. And it's like this dirty soda, you know, and it's just like, it sounds crazy, but it tastes really good. And I think that we've really stayed true to like, you know, what we grew up with in Kolkata and how do we, um, represent that you know in a city like New York yeah so when we were decorating the interior of the space we wanted to create a space that reflected the kind of dual identity that we had growing up where you know we were born in America but we spent a lot of time in India and there was never a space that really spoke to those things so you know behind me uh, there's a cassette tape of Dilse which is something I grew up with and there's also a cassette tape of College Dropout you know and these two things were just like the two pillars of you know my our upbringing and when we look at spaces in the city, whether it's Indian restaurants or you know, different versions of that, there's nothing that really feels authentic and speaks to this dual identity that a lot of young South Asians have. So we kept that at the core um, when we were putting the space together. The most important part about Coca Cola Chai is that it's inclusive and it's just our version of telling the story of where we come from, but it's yeah. open to everybody. And we encourage people to kind of get inspired to tell their own story. So, you know, there's definitely no like, um, there's no like exclusivity around this. I, th I think the important thing is for everybody to know whether you're white, green, black, purple, is that we're doing it the way that our ancestors did it and our family did it. And traditionally we're staying true to those things. And we want you to come in and taste a cup of chai and get a portal into what it's like in India. A lot of these brands that sell chai or sell yoga or whatever, you know, kind of South Asian related things, they don't speak the language because they don't come from that. You know, for Ayn and I, like we've been in this world for so long that it just, it was just about executing, but we already knew, you know, that we were the perfect people to do this, you know, this type of idea. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can stay up to date by hitting the subscribe button below me. Also on the left, you can see some of our latest updates, investigations, and features. We'll see you next time.